And what is a bolus? Bolus is a solid pressed um, yeah, block with, with, with nice curved angles to protect the, 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 the cow. It is more, um, it is, it's containing minerals, it's containing vitamins, it can, can contain trace elements to provide the animal's welfare. Um, now, with the use of boluses, you are very flexible. You, are, you don't need, hey, you have, for, for example, you have a, a low production group or a high production group or you have a heifer group or you have a first leg lactating group. You are capable with boluses to treat individual animals with, with a bolus. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's not that all the animals need to get the powder minerals through the, the mixer feeder or through the TMR. It's, you can just pick out individual animals with individual problems, for example. This is, for example, this is called the beta, the beta bolus. Beta bolus, beta stands for beta carotene, and beta carotene is for fertility. And the beta carotene in this bolus uh, activates the cow's sexual system, so uh, the fertility, uh, the, the the healthy egg, the the yellow body of the cow will be activated. So, in cases of fertility problems, you give this beta bolus. 20 days before the uh, before the insemination date, and then this beta carotene will provide and help the cow to be more fertile. And this bolus will, works 40 days, so 20 days before the insemination date, and it helps 20 days after inseminating date to support fertility. Yeah, we have the we have. We have uh, more and more boluses for different species, eh? um, like, like you're correct. Eh? This is for lamb. We have here for sheep. I think there is, this, yeah, there's also sheep. Um, minfit, minfit sheep is providing an animal for a longer period with trace elements, with vitamins, eh? not only for one day, but for, for longer days, for, for 120 days, we can provide them with all essential trace elements. We have um, see, Masti bolus for the sheep is for treatment of mastitis. Uh, when, when, when a sheep gets mastitis during her milking period, um, we will, um, she can get mastitis and we are capable to treat her with a bolus based on garlic. And in garlic you have an active substance, it's called allicin. And allicin is antibacterial and it works against the pathogens that, that, that uh, occur to, are related to mastitis. Um, this bolus, beta carotene, is again similar like this one for the cows, but then for sheep. Uh, it also supports the fertility. And this last one is the Ali lamp. It's when lambs are suffering diarrhea uh, because of pathogens. This, it's similar like this bolus for the mastitis. It's also antibacterial because of the garlic and it helps killing pathogens. I don't think there is a difference between traditional and industrial farming uh, because um, the animal stays the same. That cow at the traditional farm or in the industrial farm, it's the same. Eh? They, they, they have similar, similar diseases. They, 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 uh, they all facing this similar problems. Um, traditional farms is maybe sometimes easier to treat individual animals, or uh, perhaps they they they. Um, it sounds that it will be easier to treat that, but the bigger farms they are very well managed. They 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 they, they take care of the cow comfort. They take care of everything, and then also with the bil big milking parlors, it's very easy to separate a cow. And if you see a suspicious cow in a, during milking, you can just, by, by one push at the button, you separate that cow. That cow will be available for you after milking, and you can treat her with every kind, type of bolus, what is necessary. A bolus like this, or like this one, it is, an, it is a product what is free from hormones, free from antibiotics, free from everything. It are just based on 
normally trace elements who are also available in nature. Uh, they are full of vitamins and the good thing about it is that um, when, they, when the cows are on pasture and they don't have enough trace elements or vitamins available because of a dry period of, of too much rain or whatever, this bolus gives at least every cow on a daily basis the daily dose what she needs depending uh, and not depending of weather and poor quality of, 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 of feed. Uh, so it is, it, is, it, is, it is a very natural product and with, with perfect benefits for, for the animal. Yeah, using boluses is very, very, very easy. Uh, it is, um, this is a well-designed applicator. Uh, it has very, uh, a very nice, my nice edge, so there will be damage nothing. You just take the bolus out of the package. Uh, mostly it's packed in, in the plastic. You put it into the applicator, like this. It doesn't fall out, so it's perfect. You just take the cow, when it's in the, in the headlocks, you take it underneath the mouth, you just put it in here very slowly, give the time, give the cow, let the, 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 give the cow time to swallow and just push it and it will be out and it will be safely in the rumen without any damage to the animal. So this is a very fair and honest way of applying boluses to dairy cows.